And a warm welcome to the Hunter for our Saturday night offering on 10 Bold and Paramount Plus. Newcastle Jets against Adelaide United. The fixture, of course, that kicked it all off back in August 2005 when Adelaide beat the Jets here 1-0 on the opening night of the new A-League. 6,406 days ago. Talking to the team news, here it is. One change for Newcastle. Joshua Sotirio was missing from training yesterday with a calf strain. He isn't in the match day squad. He, of course, scored the winner at Coopers in January. So Becca Mikkeltanta returns after missing the defeat in Wellington. Reno Piscopo remains on the sidelines for a fifth consecutive match due to that groin problem. Archie Goodwin away with the young Socceroos. And it is that starting home debut for the Japanese international winger. Manabu Saito, Costa Grosos will play a little deeper to accommodate the return of Mikkel Tadza. Now one change for Adelaide as well. Hiroshi Ibasuki not in the squad due to the nasty gash to the face he sustained, which uh, forced him off the field against Melbourne City last week. Luka Jovanovic gets his maiden start for the club. A couple of milestones for a couple of Reds. Isaias plays his 200th A-League men's game. Ben Halloran, his 150th. Musa Torre is included on the bench alongside lethal weapon Nestori Iran Kunda, who's now scored in his last two cameos off the bench. Becca Mikkeltadza yet to taste glory with the Jets. And if they are going to make the finals this season, Andy Harper, then the Jets have got to get a little bit of a shift on. Big game for them tonight. Huge game, Simon. Uh, for all clubs at this stage of the season because there's competition survival at stake. Even bigger, you think, tonight for the Jets playing at home. It's it's a it's a stadium which hasn't delivered consistent joy for the fans and it's about time, given what's available to Newcastle with teams around them coughing and spluttering. And they've suffered from that malaise as well, but three points tonight, you'd think, is mandatory for the Hunt team. They've been there or thereabouts, haven't they, for quite a few weeks now as uh, Trent Mahaja catches up with Ryan Kitto. Just haven't quite been able to push on into the six. Here's Ryan Kitto fed by Goodwin. He'll uh, swing in the cross. Saito couldn't clear it. Picked up by Javi Lopez. And Halloran. And the block was made by Manabu Saito. The ball hasn't quite gone out. So Adelaide will continue through Isaias, now Halloran on the right. Clough making a little dart towards the edge of the box, but he was ignored. Adelaide settling the quicker of the two. There's that combination again, Kitto and Goodwin. How many times have we seen that to good effect this season for the Reds? And Kitto is in behind, squared in by Isaias. Here's Jovanovic. Jets clinging on by the fingernails in these opening stages. Now they'll get a little bit of a breather, courtesy of the offside flag. Good start by the Reds. Two minutes near enough of good, positive possession. Ryan Kitto, I think, straying offside. That otherwise beautiful move. Early sider of Jovanovic. There he is. Offside, Ryan Kitto. I mean, it's so clearly offside. Goodness knows why it can't be flagged. Thurgate. Bisected both Rosos and Hoffman. Yeah, by Jenkinson. Touched by Dorigo, who sets Goodwin on his way. As Kitto outside him, he uses the decoy. Two drawn to Ryan Kitto. Here's Goodwin again! Oh, brilliant! That trusty left peg of Craig Goodwin scores against the club, which really gave him his first big opportunity in the A-League. It's a peach from the Reds' top scorer. Nine for the season. And Adelaide lead. Well, it's a combination of bad defending and bad luck for Newcastle. Firstly, look at the miscommunication between Ingham 
and O'Neill. It just opened the channel for Craig Goodwin on the Harvey Norman replay to have one go with his right foot. And this is the unfortunate bit for Newcastle. The right foot's no trouble. The left foot is deadly. And the rebound, accidental as it was, from Jenkinson, who blocked the shot, harmless in the first instance. And then from Goodwin, then the Socceroo. Nothing Jack Duncan can do about that. Super hit. Skull number 47 in the competition. For the Adelaide captain. And what a start for Carl Beard's team. Twelfth time this season, they've taken a lead in a game and they are yet to lose after they've hit the front for the first time. Six wins and five draws, and here they come again. Kitto playing in good way in the cutback. Zach Clough couldn't miss. Two goals in 60 seconds for Adelaide United. It's catastrophe for the Jets. But Adelaide are in dreamland. Well, he was a focus pre-game. Zach Clough finding some form. So too, Adelaide's penchant for getting players forward. Look at this on the Harvey Norman replay. Line ball, but close and onside for Goodwin. Great cutback and then super, super cool from Zach Clough. It was Carl Jenkinson who went to win the ball on halfway, came up short and away Adelaide went. Beautiful interchange, very clever cutback, really cool finish. 2-0 inside 30 seconds. And doesn't Carl Viet love it? And there's a stunned silence among the home fans around McDonald Jones Stadium. Well, already Harps, it's a long way back for the Jets. Well, if there's, as you say at this stage, Simon, there's any silver lining on this cloud potentially is that they've still got a long time to turn it around. But the Newcastle players were in deep discussion with referee Elder after that second goal. I'm not quite sure what their beef was. And Jenkins, Jenkinson came strongly for the ball to win around about halfway. Here's a go. Trent Mahaja hitting the byline. Cross just too high for Mikkel Tata. Chance here though. 2-1. A hit as sweet as you like by the Jets' longest serving player, Jason Hoffman. Game on. No time to go and get a cup of tea this early on a Saturday night. Harvey Norman replates three goals in 90 seconds virtually. Trent Bahadja drops a dangerous ball seemingly. No one there for Newcastle until the Hoff arrives at full steam. And he really nails this left foot effort. Naturally a right footer. Head down, body still. Lances the ball into the far corner and breathes early life back into Newcastle's campaign tonight. Just when it looked gone after 15 minutes, the Jets are back into it. Reload through Grozos. Bahaja, that's clear of Kitto, but not Warland. Fergate. O'Neill. To play in. Hoffman at the back post, it'll drop here for Manabu Saito, who puts it dangerously across the face. Oh, and Jason Hoffman was in the right position again, and this time it's great the crossbar. He could have had a double tonight. And quick as you like, as tough as the first half has been for Newcastle, they're a coat of paint away from an equaliser. And an unlikely brace it would have been for Jason Hoffman. A skewed clearance from Waller. And he lashes it. He fairly lashes this, Hoffman. And off the boot, he's thinking, I've got another one here. Warland. He just slipped there as he went to release that ball. 
Could be costly. But not in the end as Dorigo nipped in. And Adelaide are back on the front foot. What a ball by Waller. Jovanovic! And that is the quality of Adelaide United in those transitional moments. And Luka Jovanovic has a goal on starting debut. And Adelaide's two goal cushion is restored. Well, what a moment for young Ivanovic and the pattern of the game reflected in this goal. Newcastle coughing the ball up. This is going to be line ball on the Harvey Norman replay for offside. It's an excellent touch and finish. Let's focus on that from the youngster. Beautiful cushion touch, then the composure to tow it past Jack Duncan to find the back of the net. The turnover from Newcastle. The Dorigo pass to Goodwin was superb. Goodwin's first time offering to Ivanovic was classy and the finish to match. Almost along the lines of, we just can't accept those errors. It doesn't matter who's out there, who's making their errors, you're off. We've, we've got to actually tighten up and straighten up. Floated forward nicely by O'Neill, and the heart just kept it alive, and they've got their second goal, the Jets. Angus Thurgate reduces the deficit to one for the second time in the match. What a first half we've had here in the Hunter. And those Jets fans are smiling once again. But they just keep hanging on. It's Bahadur again, the pace in behind. Kiddo's defending leaves a lot to be decided there. And so too, it has to be said, the goalkeeping of Joe Gauci, who's been excellent this year. But that's far from convincing. He's down on his knees gone down quicker than the Titanic there. He looked like the Titanic going down there, Joe Gauchi. Unbecoming of a young star, and that's a third gate special. Arriving in the box and scoring past the keeper. Back with Saito. Dangerous ball across. Lockie Barr did well to scoop it away. And Alwyn will put it out. Seven minutes of additional time played, and that will do, says Daniel Elder. Wow, what a first half in the Hunter. Five goals, including a goal on starting debut for Luka Jovanovic. Craig Goodwin has had a hand in all three for the Reds, two assists, and of course he opened the scoring on 13 minutes. Jason Hoffman hit back almost immediately after the second goal from Zach Clough. And then after Jovanovic had put Adelaide 3-1 to the good, Angus Thurgate in first half stoppage time, keeping the Jets in the contest. Plenty more to come in this one, but at the break it's Newcastle Jets 2, Adelaide United 3. Let's hope there's plenty more goals to come in the second half. Last on the whistle from Daniel Elder, and it's the Jets who get the ball rolling once again. Adelaide halfway to going nine unbeaten and back to second on the ladder tonight. That would represent their high watermark of the season, Andy Harper, and their best run since their title winning campaign of 15 16. In good nick, they're Adelaide, and how fun was that? Adelaide Oval for the GF against the Wanderers, a pulsating day. This team is showing all the hallmarks. Although, look at their front line at the moment. The 17-year-old in possession there, and the 17-year-old on the near touchline in Aaron Kunda. Albeit a very exciting one, and Craig Goodwin has picked him out from right at the opposite side of the field. Top of the box is Clough, and couldn't really set himself. Well, worth a go. He's finding some form, Clough. It was worth a go, even if it was a little bit off balance. He's got the talent to do some damage from even those difficult situations. Going to be youth against experience down this right-hand side. Iran Kunda against Jason Hoffman. One of those little key battles to keep an eye on. By the way, just on the Reds, if they were to get the Three points tonight, four of their last six of the regular season are at Cooper Stadium. Where we know they are so strong. 
However, Kitto was closed out quickly by Bahaja. Martsmelia ferries it out towards Manabu Saito. The Jets still within range and it needed that stretch from Lockie Bar. Jets corner. Well, Kitto losing out. Martsmelia picking up the ball and firing it out to Saito, who seemed a little bit difficult for Adelaide there. Now, Iran Kunda getting the better of O'Neill. Brilliant turn. The return ball from Zach Clough was not of the same quality, no, just not as, for Adelaide. Not a sharp Adelaide, actually, to start this. And Newcastle, credit to them, they've been a lot stronger in this uh, second half, and that's probably forced Adelaide's hand. But one or two from Goodwin, the offside run, then the, the giveaway in transition, and that from Zach Clough with a really easy pass to release Iran Kunder. He finds the, the touchline. It's Newcastle at the moment. Adelaide haven't quite come out of the dressing sheds yet. At least they've been made to look like that by the Jets. And Abu Saito, it's an awkward ball. Oh. And Mikkel Tatsa threw himself at the ball. But harder at the near post, and neither could make contact. Exciting stuff, and it was right in that corridor of uncertainty for a man of Saito. Then they just needed a touch, threw the ball in nicely, did Saito. Kitto, looking for options, had to go long. Ingham nipped him and then gave the ball away to Rigo. It's four against three here for the Reds. Nestor Irakunda brings the thunder once again. There go the flips. Wow, he's some talent. Goals in three consecutive games now. And the only question left is, are you watching Graham Arnold? Ahead of that Socceroos announcement. He thumped that into the roof of the net. Are you watching Nadia Comaneci? Harvey Norman replay. Bad turnover from Newcastle. Mounting a challenge as they were. Dane Ingham coughs it up cold. Dorigo gives it to Iren Kunda. And then we just sit back. Snap the ring pull on the tenny. And say in she goes. And enjoy this. Because there's no stopping it. On the near post. And once again. It's the power that he generates that gives the goalkeeper no time to react. Ingham. Seen out by Ben Warland in the first instance, and then given away carelessly by Altai. Iran Kunda linking up with Dazelle. Iran Kunda is strong and quick and powerful. Jenkins and across to meet him. Oh, and it's off the face of the post. Really, he had no right to hit the target from there. But he was oh so close to adding a second. Well, he set that up nicely, didn't he? <laughs> Kunda. And we had a perfect view right behind it, and it looked for all money like it was going to creep inside that far post. Goodwin getting away from a tired looking Dane Ingham. Can Adelaide finish them off here? Alagic lets it run. Dizel about to pull the trigger. And it's a brilliant challenge by Aquilina to keep Newcastle alive at least for a minute or two longer. But they can't profit from it in transition. No, that was equally fantastic from Aquilina. And a bit sloppy from Dizel, but look at this. That's that's good from Dizel. This is power from Aaron Kunda. Sees off one. Jenkinson's got his work cut out, but even that's not really good enough. He did well, was diligent defending from the former England international, but couldn't stop the shot. And it was just the post that denied a brace for Aaron Kunda. Frustration again for those Newcastle fans. Just one finals appearance in the last 12 years. 
famous season under Ernie Merrick when they made the grand final against Melbourne Victory. To many slim tickings before and since. Do you fancy they will make it this season, Harps? The Jets, they're looking long shots at the moment. I'm not writing anyone off, even Melbourne Victory. They're on their last legs, but they can still strike. They've got the quality. I just, I just don't see Newcastle turning this around. They've got enough points. They're close enough. They're going to be good enough. I'm not 100% sure. Well, they had that six-game unbeaten run, didn't they, which really put them in a decent position, but the last few weeks they've been brought back to the pack. Still frustratingly outside the six. Mikkel Tanta. He's barely had a chance tonight to add to his five goal haul, the Jets' top scorer. And we're now deep inside the final minute of the five additional. Altai. it out towards Ingham. Last knockings perhaps for the Jets. Third game. Goal kick. Tired night for Little third game. Five from Craig Goodwin suggests that Adelaide believe the job is done. Yeah. Third game. But the goal to keep Newcastle in it going into half time but he hasn't really featured in the second half. Very disappointing night for the home fans again. And Daniel Alder says that will do. Victory for Adelaide United. And Estori Irakunda once again, one of the headline writers with that powerful second half strike that finally saw off the resistance from Arthur Pappas' team. The Reds flying up to second spot as they extend their unbeaten run to nine games. Their best since their title winning campaign of 2015-16. And with four of the last six to come at Coopers, they might just fancy their chances of making it to another grand final. The Jets slip to their fifth home defeat of the season. And perhaps they're starting to just slide out of contention back now of three straight defeats. A goal and two assists for Craig Goodwin, a goal for Zach Klopp, his third of the season, one for Luka Jovanovic on his starting debut. And of course, that bullet strike again for Nestori Irankunda, Jason Hoffman and Angus Thurgate for the Jets. But in the end, the home side well beaten by four goals to two.